Welcome back to Black Enterprise Business Report and our special 100th show. Keeping ahead of the curve means we've been checking out who's risen to the top of the food chain, the nation's top black chefs. And we found the key ingredient for all of them is authenticity. Real success is like great food. It can't be faked. Our comfort food, uh -huh. it's not a matter of doing the same dish as our aunties did or yeah. your grandmother did. Yeah, yeah. It's about bringing people back to their childhood memories, but yes, doing a little bit different, yeah. right? The difference between Cajun cooking and Creole cooking, Creole meant first born in a new colony of foreign parents. So you had French, Spanish, African, and Indian. But those first four got started at 36 different nationalities to them. So as the city grew, everybody added to the pot what they knew at home for mother and grandmother. The Acadians originally were from France, settled east coast of Canada. The area where Nova Scotia is now, the area was called Acadie. That's why they were called Acadians. The word Acadian was broken down to Cajun. So Cajun cooking was more country cooking. Creole cooking had more sauces to it. This is Chicago. People thought I was insane. And I had on my window raw gourmet food. And people would walk by and go, ah, you know, is she nuts? But then I, I had a thought. I thought, well, people just want good food. So I took that off the window and I put just good, fresh food. And people started coming in. Let's eat. Yeah. Mm. Bam! That is delicious. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. Did you do good? I think we did a good, good job. Okay. I'm going to have to go with the ladies on this one. <laughs> oh, congratulations. Nice. Very nice job. <laughs> we loved those chefs and eating our way through those interviews. Now, if you're looking to sink your teeth into some great A advice, our B Nexters had plenty to share. Check out what the next generation of business moguls has already learned. You got to be a self-motivator because there's going to be plenty of people who's going to tell you no and beat you down. And then from there, that step one, step two would be a self-generator. Allow that motivation to generate something. Can't sit around and just wait for someone to give you an opportunity. You have to generate opportunities on your own. We had kind of like a garage full of things that we could use at least to get started. So, I mean, we, we've put to some things in place that, that have helped us to maintain the, the debt-free status. So I actually had to develop a lot in the first six months to a year on how to manage all of that. I started out the business pretty much on the stage and I had to learn everything in front of everybody. And I didn't plan for the store to grow as quickly as it did. If it takes a thousand times for you to get back up, that's what it takes. You know, stop counting them and keep pushing. They really are the best and the brightest. Extraordinary young entrepreneurs already making a difference in their fields. And we'll be keeping you posted on their progress. We're also keeping pace with the extraordinary strides black women have made in business. Here are just a few women of power to be reckoned with. They did not know me when I was in public places and I was turning up cushions to find quarters to do my laundry or I was living off $50 a month to make sure that in clipping coupons, I worked for every penny of that. The challenges that I faced uh, when I opened my business was owning a distribution center. It's a male-dominated industry, and it had never had a woman-owned distribution center, let alone a black woman-owned. They didn't want to have any commercial businesses in the neighborhood, which is unfortunate because the community does need to have commerce. Um, and if we're going to be self-sufficient in African-American communities, we need to encourage businesses opening. I think one of the things that pleases me the most is that we're trailblazers. Uh, with New Marcus tax credits, we were able to do multi-million dollar transactions for minorities. Enterprising women have offered some of the most candid and inspiring stories we've covered. They're phenomenal. Coming up as we celebrate our 100th show, Moving Money, Masters of Government and Corporate Finance offer a rare inside glimpse at some of the most serious economic challenges of our time. And later, Power Pairs share their secrets on working so well together. Stay with us. Black Enterprise Business Report is sponsored in part by Toyota. Moving forward.